Greetings guys and welcome back to EcoCraft for another episode, I forget which, I don't know which episode we're up to. Um, well today guys we got a bunch of stuff we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be jumping into a mod that I have not touched before and which we haven't touched in this series. So, sit back, relax, enjoy the, the show, and let's play some EcoCraft. So, the mod we're going to be jumping in today is, let me show you, let me just show you, shall I? It is. Um, I actually gotta find, find it. Give me a moment, guys. I might have forgotten what it's called. I think it's out the avatar one. I I I avatar. Um, but make sure. No, it's quantum flux. My bad. We're gonna be jumping into quantum flux, guys. So I have never touched quantum flux before, and I'm not sure what I'm really doing. Um. I know it does a bunch of stuff with RF, but what it does, I have no idea. So, quantum disk. It's kind of a new area for me, and I'm kind of interested. There's battle suits, there's titanium swords, there's a whole bunch of stuff. But what I'm really interested in is this, this the storehouse. I have read up a bit of on it, and it seems to be a lot like, um, we got lamps too, seems to be a lot like, um, a ME system, sort of, but I'm not entirely sure that's right. Generates, ooh, we've got RF generators too. Works better at low altitudes. Converts matter to a little bit of energy. Hmm. What do we need to make these? <laughs> Alright. Entangler. It's always things that you, you install in a mod pack, and then you look at them and you're like, that actually looks really cool. Alright, Entangler. So we need Mangaloy Quibit Crystal. Oh gosh. Um do we need for that quick crystal loot iron casing. Okay, they don't actually look that hard. It's just what do you need? oh gosh. I'll take that back. <laughs> Let's try making one of these and we'll have a look at what how it turns out. Stealing it. Wait, stealing it. Can we use refined iron? Or, uh, uh, wait, we have steel, don't we? In here. Yeah. Um, so, let's make a quibit cr cluster level 1. So that's a storing system. How much does it store? 500,000 RF for level 1. 2.5. What? Transfer an infinite area for amount. I wish I'd seen this earlier. Oh gosh. Pulls area from the red flux field. Red flux field? Okay. We'll give this a go. I'm hoping it can also connect up with a bit of engineering and stuff. Um, so, iron and lapis. Pretty simple. So let's go iron. We don't have any iron. Lapis. We don't have any lapis in there either. Um, or, or blocks and or others. These are like our two go to inventory things. Um, block of iron. We, we're starting to run out of iron. We may need to go on a little bit of an expedition in the next video. Um, I know, I know. I said I was going to go off and fix up my armor and stuff, but I changed my mind. I was like, I'm gonna give stuff different stuff a go. So two of you, and yeah, well, it's, look, it's it's my map. I can decide to do different things, can't I? Guess I can. Um, diamond. Do we have any diamond? We have a diamond. We're gonna make this, and it looks actually pretty cool. So quick bit crystallizer. Now let's have a look. Level one, so we need steel and get. We can make that. Stores. Oh, I'm gonna try this. Okay, let's see. This stores five 
that million RF. I want to see if we can connect this up. It connects! Wait. It's weird. What? It's getting a negative and then a positive. So this is actually collecting as much energy as it's storing. Is... Is that bar supposed to be working? Because I can see it collecting, sending out stuff. It's inputting as much as it's outputting. Oh, it can only input a hundred RF per tick. Okay, that's fine. So we need four of those and two amplification courses. Dark stone. Mmm, it is getting interesting. Hmm. Think about this for a moment. So this stores 2.5 million, and this stores, sorry we lost it, 500. So that's four times as good, you just need to use a diamond. And as it grows up, 62. That's a big jump. Wait, hang on, let me stop moving around and talking. Um, where is it? There we go. So, 500, that's, what do we need for that? Four of those, so 500 times four is... Jeez, just stop it! I'm seriously. Um, that's one million, so you're getting out five times as much. Oh, I don't know. It looks like the higher you go up, the better it is. Look at the MC. And then we also have generators too. What do you need? You need a level two. Ooh, this is this is becoming a debating topic. Debatable. What do you need for that? Oh. <laughs> okay, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, so this looks like it could be a really good way of going at some point because the max you can get with capacitive banks is 25 million and this one you can get up to 312 million. So for a storage system, it's actually really, really good. Can we input from a different side, I wonder? Like, it's only inputting 100 RF per tick from one side, but it's getting an energy conduit and connect it up there. Oh, it's outputting. What? We want to say input only. In and out. Insert. That's not changing it at all. Okay, no, we can't do that. No point. Um, but yeah, so that looks like something that would be really interesting. I also want to see if. Um, what? There is a way that you can um, stabilize the these things. I'm stabling this. So there's this. Blah, 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 blah. And we want the unstabling it one. Because I, the stable unstabling it one. Because I know there is one way that you can do that. To be honest, I should have done that before I touched anything. No bias. An upgraded form of the... The thing is, it doesn't tell you what to do. Stable. The upgraded form has been stabilized. This ritual is exceptionally tricky to work. Right-click a vanilla beacon with an activated division feature to begin. Okay, so there you go. That's what we're going to do. If we have the item for that first off. That's going to be a bit of a problem. 
Um, well, I think I'm going to be going strip mining a bit more, a bit, oh, like a ton more. We need all this awesome stuff. Which one is this? Luck. Look at that, 1430. What? No. Um, we can actually put a bit more in there, I guess. Um, so that's something that we are definitely going to look into RF coins and flux. I also want to look at RF tools. RF tools gives you. I'll oh, stop it. I'll oh, stop it. Magic transmitter. If you place this block near a dialing device, then you give the. You can dial it to a match receiver. Make sure to give. Use a destination analyzer adjacent to the spot to check status. Red is green, green is red is bad, green. Hmm. So we got a transmitter, so that's like a teleporter, I guess. And we can make dimensions as well, I think. Dimensional. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. This device monitors the amount of RF in an adjacent machine selected with GUI. It can also send out a redstone signal as the power goes above or below. That could be helpful. So if you have something that's getting too much power, you could just say, if it drops below this, turn off the power to this. Because I know there is a... a pipe system that will disable if it has a redstone signal. Helpful. Uh, come on computer. This is why I need to get a better computer back. Just need to get a better computer. It's the whole problem. Um but yeah, so I think I think we should definitely try and get this stuff sorted out. We want to we want to go through all the mods we possibly can. Just go through and have a look at stuff. Maybe make a few things. Um, I also was thinking that we might touch on some blood magic today. I haven't really done much blood magic. I haven't really done any magic related things. I always think of Thorncraft as a magic one too. It is. So it's good that I think of it. But, like, when you start out on Thorncraft, it's not really a magic mod. Not really. Um, it's more a... Uh, examine every single thing in the place, and... We'll give you stuff for it, sort of mod. But, yeah. Come on. Come on. Sorry about this. <laughs> I'm also going to try and upgrade our jetpack. I won't do blood magic this time around. We'll do it next time. I'm going to try and get ourselves a test rack this time around. Because I have been meaning to do that. We're going to make a big, big quarry. Actually, that's an idea. Let's do that now. We're going to make a quarry, guys. We're going to make, like, take a big chunk out of the world. And then we're going to create a fill later on and fill it all in. So, it's all going to be good. It's all good. A filler. I'm just hoping there is a thing in that mod pack. Otherwise, I might have to do something about that.
Okay, so we're back. Sorry about that. Um, so I was looking at this. There's, there's a bunch of stuff here that we could do. Spawner. What? This block can spawn creatures. You need a syringe of the appropriate type RF and it needs beams of energized matter. That could be interesting. Dimension Builder. Yeah, so you can create dimensions in this. I'm not going to be doing that unless I get a better computer, so don't worry. Um, I was thinking that for the rest of this episode, wait, pull them. Um, pull half, don't use this. Pull spawner. Close this, this thing. Hmm. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's ignore that. Come on. So for the rest of today, most of this episode at least, I've made like two episodes today. Um, I'm awesome, aren't I? Making multiple episodes a day. Um, I thought we would set up our quarry again. Because we kind of need it. Um, quarry is over here, I think. Come on, quarry. You're in here, aren't you? Yes, there you are. We also need the torches. Do we have the torches? No, we don't. That's fine. I can deal with that. It's been so again. Um, so we're going to set up our quarry. Actually, no, 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 we are not setting up our quarry straight away. We are actually first, I realize this, not long ago. If we look at Tesseract, oh great, come on. Tesseract frame, empty. You'll notice the name, we need Enderium, right? The thing is, Enderium can actually be made quite easily. And I did not realize that. We need Enderium Blend and Prithorium Dust. And Enderium Blend is Polarized Tin, Polarized Silver, and Polarized Shiny Metal, and then an Ender Bucket. Um, which is actually a problem. But hey, there's got to be an easy way of doing this, right? It's the only way you do it. Well, that means that we are going to send, need to set up an... I was looking at both recipes, hang on, there was that, and there was the tran the dimensional transceiver. Dimensional transceiver. This one, oh, we need an ender resonant. Can we make that? We need an enderman head. Why is it that everything I want to use needs an enderman head? Games out to, to just, and that means we gotta go to the end. Well, we're gonna set up our um our. We don't even have an axe. What is wrong with me? Ingot. We're gonna make ourselves a bronze one. Um, sorry, I'm getting off topic here. I'm, like, not focusing on what I'm doing. Um, as I was going to say, we're going to set up our spawn, our quarry, and hopefully in the next episode 2 or 2 we can actually go to the end. I think that's probably going to have to be our job before we do anything else. Come on. It's being slow all of a sudden. But yeah, I reckon that's gonna have to be our job first. And I'm not really looking forward to it. Um but but it's going to be done. Okay, so let's just make ourselves an axe 
for the moment. So we're going to put this in our saw mill because what's better than getting a ton of wood from no, not much. Sort of nice. Okay, and turn those to that. We only need three actually. One, two, three. And then we go like that, bronze axe. Okay, let's put our ore bags back in here. And lapis. Don't have any lapis. Oh, fine, I'll grab my ore bag. And lapis. One, two, three. That's not three. There we go. And. Kaboom, landmarks. So we're going to check this stuff back in there. We need to stick so. Okay. So now to find where we're going to place this stuff. Um. That thing's doing pretty well actually. Let's turn this off for the moment. Extract that. That'll do. Okay. So where to put it? Well, I was thinking about this, and I was thinking out here, there's a, I think it's a snow biome over here, and as far as I know, there's some pretty cool stuff underneath snow biomes. Oh gosh, the load lag. It's going to like slowly drop down. It's not as fun, but hey, it's worth it if you're not going to. Oh, hello. Zombie and skeleton down there. Yep. One man army. Okay. I was thinking somewhere around here. I'm going to go out to the snow biome only because it's actually a pretty nice spot to go. Hey, it's a fire zombie. Hello, Mr. Fire Zombie. <coughs> yep, my beheading sword is much better than yours. Didn't even have a beheading sword. Um, anyway, so we're going to sit up here. I think this is probably a good spot to go. So let's put one of these landmarks right here. And we're going to go out this way. We want to try and keep it level if we can. And two here. Now let's just break you so we have a block to build up from. So we need to go up one. So right here, I think is the spot, I think, right there, yep, that connected up, and then we're going to go out this way, I'm not sure how far we're going to go there. It's not linking up. Maybe it has to go one higher? Yeah, I think it has to go one higher. Anyway guys, I'm going to set this up and... Oops. Ah, oh, come on. What's going on? Uh, I'm going to set this up and then we'll be right back. So it's... Oh, my head ball. Um, see ya. See you in just a second. Goodbye, guys.